Hi guys, it's Craig Beals, and I found something truly incredible that I want to show you, and that's how to turn your smartphone into a 3D hologram projector. Now when you see this thing turn on, it's absolutely amazing. Here's one of the things I love most about this project. You can do it for absolutely free as long as you have some of the equipment. Now, this is from a hard drive that I purchased recently. It's the plastic packaging that came on the outside of it. This is a game that my son got or some remote controlled cars and it's got this great plastic on the outside. Well, this is all we need to be able to make our 3D hologram projector. And then all you have to do is trace. And fold. Piece of tape. The first question I always get is, wow, how does that work? Well, it just boils down to some really simple physics. When you look at the screen from the top, you've got four images and you've got four sides to the pyramid. When it's upside down, you can see that the images are coming up through the screen, but they're also being reflected back towards the viewer. And if you have people all the way around the four sides of this, then everybody can see it. And the reason it looks like it's hovering there in the middle is that we can still see through the plastic. So our eye sort of is playing a trick on us. We're seeing the reflected image on the side of the plastic, but we're also seeing through the image to the other side. Now, just some quick terms about what's actually causing this to happen. I've drawn on here that light is beaming its way up from the screen and it's touching the plastic. It's also going through the plastic and that's because the plastic exhibits the properties of transparency. It's transparent. We can see through it. Now it's only partially transparent because obviously some of that light is coming back towards us. So we can see some of the light is headed up through the plastic and, and going off into space. But it also exhibits refraction. Now refraction is what we would consider the opposite of reflection. When it hits that plastic, it's actually refracted or bent and goes in a certain angle. I'll show you how to figure out that angle if you're interested in just a second. And then the last one here is specular reflection. Really, this is the reflection, but specular is the type where the image is not blurred. It's reflected back at a certain angle. And you can see from our images here, now if you were off to that one side looking in, um, you would see this happening at a roughly a 90 degree angle. We'd have to measure it to be sure. Now you can measure the angle at which that refraction and reflection is, happen, uh, is happening with something called Snell's Law. And here's the equation for Snell's Law. And just mainly what I want you to remember instead of all of the complex equations for Snell's Law is that this is actually very simple physics, but it's absolutely fascinating. You've got some cheap plastic that we recycled from my son's toy packaging. We're setting it on top of a phone. The light is beaming up. Some of it is passing through there, but the rest is passing back towards our eye. And to me, this is the one of the things I love about science is you can really dive into the explanation of you if you want, or you can just appreciate it for what it's worth. So keep on learning.